Hello! Today I'm here to bring you another non-booktube review and this month I've chosen a library pick for this and this is Ian Banks's The Steep Approach to Garbadale. Um, I wanted to read Ian Banks for a while and I actually watched a programme with him which was on BBC when he was diagnosed with terminal cancer and it was a really interesting and wonderful interview um, and he just came across as such a lovely man and ever since then I've wanted to pick up his fiction um, I did burrow the wasp factory for a very very long time and then gave it back because I just never ever got round to reading it um, but that is one of his that I specifically wanted to read however the library didn't have that um, so this one was the one that appealed to me the most so I picked this one up this is basically about it's kind of a bit of a family drama. It's about a family who have a family-run board game business. Um, and one of their board games has been turned into a very successful computer game, which has led to a big American corporation wanting to buy the rights to this game corporation. Um, and it's, it's about the family dealing with that and sort of running up to this big meeting where they have to make a decision. Um, all of them have different amounts of shares and things, but we predominantly follow a man called Alban, who he has kind of, without spoiling anything, he's been involved in a bit of a family disgrace, and he's basically shunned all of the family. He still has a hundred shares in the business, but that's next to nothing. The others have hundreds of thousands of shares, um, but he just basically shirked it all and said he didn't want anything to do with them anymore. But his cousin Fielding is sort of pushing for them to keep the family business and he goes and finds Alban and together they go on a sort of mission to try and convince the rest of the family to say no to these spires basically and to keep the business. This was a really mixed bag for me. I have to say I don't know actually that Ian Banks is my kind of writer, um, which surprises me me. As I say, I still want to read The Wasp Factory just because it sounds like a book that would perhaps appeal to me more. Um, but this, in a way, it was much more mainstream than I expected it to be. I don't, I don't know how to explain that, but like I don't generally read plot-heavy fast books, um, and this is definitely a plot-heavy fast book. There is a lot of speech, there's a lot of action, um, and it's an easy read. It's the kind of book that I'd probably pick up on holiday or something like that, which isn't necessarily my kind of thing at all. Um, and there were parts in this where I thought the writing was clumsy. I would also say the proofreader of this needs shooting because there was an incident where they used the wrong there. Um, and there was an, also an incident where they spoke about great as in grating cheese and it was G-R-E-A-T. Um, that grated on me a lot. Ha <laughs> ha. Boom. So yeah. That annoyed me but generally there were some incidences in here that were quite clunky um that were written quite clumsily i felt but despite that this was exactly the book i needed i think i've kind of been not that motivated to read recently um i've been finding it very hard to pick books or get involved in books and i've been finding books quite slow and sloggy um so this was kind of just at the right time really i think generally it's not going to be a book that sticks in my mind that much but i'm glad i read it because i think it's what i needed so if you're in need of something that you can just get lost in it, it doesn't require too much brain power and it's just an easy read then i'd recommend this um but generally it was a disappointment to me i think especially the ending it didn't have a very proper ending and um, not that i mind open endings but it's not an open ending as such it just kind of comes to an abrupt halt and it kind of isn't isn't as solved I think as it should be also there is a theme in here which I can't talk to you about um without spoiling things I think it'd be better to go into this not knowing this theme um but it's a theme that I just don't get along with in books and I know that's really irritating because I can't tell you what it is but it's something that as soon as it's in a book I just seem to switch off admittedly this did it better than a lot of them um but yeah as soon as I see that theme it's a warning bell for me so that was a down point also there are some parts in the end here where it, it gets a little bit political but not at the same time I it, it's strange because there's just moments where there's a conversation like there's a random conversation in here about the Iraq war there's also a conversation about the difference between conservatives and liberals and in both of those conversations 
I really loved the summary. The summary between the difference between Liberals and Conservatives was probably the most concise summary I have ever heard and I'm going to use it in the future when people irritate me with ignorance. Also I really agreed with the points on the Iraq war, however I don't feel that they necessarily had a purpose in this book. I felt like they were clunkily put in there um, for the sake of being in there, they didn't add anything to the story, they only weren't in context. Um, so that was a little bit strange for me and uh, yeah it generally just fell a little bit flat. As I say I'm glad I read it and if you like fast paced reads I would still recommend this um, but it was not great for me, I think it just wasn't my kind of thing. Um, but then this is what this is all about, I'm picking up books that I know nothing about, um, I'm glad I gave it a go, as I say it's something that kind of I needed at the time, it, just because it's not something that particularly sat with me or is something that I will remember doesn't mean I regret reading it and this is I think the joy of this series is that it is the complete unknown. Um, so yeah, as I say, not the best experience, but we're moving on. Please let me know down below any of your favourite Ian Banks books that you think I might enjoy a little bit more than this one, because I do still want to give him another go, and I will see you next time. Bye!